What's up, YouTube? We are driving right now on our way to the gym. Had a great morning. Uh, Daisy actually had her first puppy training day. It was pretty cool to see, you know. Um, I don't know if you guys know much about dog training, but it's really just establishing a leadership role, which I think is extremely important when it comes to, you know, some of these large breed dogs. We're using a prong e-collar to, uh, you know, correct bad behavior and things like that. I never really used to be a firm believer in that, but I wanted her to be disciplined, not be crazy with other people, you know, strangers, run up to them. Uh, I wanted her to be a good dog with kids, with other people, in all aspects of life. I'm sure she's not very happy with me at all, to be honest, but she'll learn, she'll pick it up over time. As I promise, I always wanna give you guys good instructional workout videos. And I know everybody has their own ways of training. Some might say my training splits are unorthodox or whatever, but I feel like we can all take a little bit from one another while we're working out and training. Let's get to the gym. Gonna start focusing on the road here, hopefully you don't crash. So very first thing I like to do on my upper body days is calisthenic warm-ups. I usually do a series of dips, pull-ups, push-ups. We're gonna do 10 reps of each exercise for three rounds, so let's get it. All right, so the biggest part to this is gonna be control. So controlling down, breaking 90 at the elbows, coming right up. Nice and controlled. So same thing here, all the way up, all the way down. Controlled. Now that'll be one round. We're gonna do that two more times. They looking at me, choosing violence. Yeah, keep it on the low, you know that's the call. First exercise is going to be incline dumbbells. Eight to 12 rep range. I like to stay within hypertrophy training, which is the enlargement of the muscle cells. Really getting that blood flow to the muscles. Looking nice and diesel. Q Health, don't forget. That's right. Number one blood work, people in Naples, Florida. <laughs> Feeling like you got low T, hit up Q Health. <laughs> Got you, man. So last set, set number three. We're gonna do a drop set. Probably start at 80 pound dumbbells and then go down to 60 or 50. Not 100% sure. Let's we'll see how I'm feeling. Yeah. How many do you think you're getting? I don't know. <laughs> Till I bitch out. <laughs> oh, the bar. The bar's gone. All right. Flat bench, 135. Probably set a rep range, eight to 15. Let's go. Next, we're gonna throw on 185. This will be the last set. Try and go for about eight reps. And I'm gonna drop set down to 135. Go to a failure. Next will be dips. Rep range, eight to 15. First set will be body weight, no weight. The last two sets, I'll throw on the dip belt throw a 45 on it and do about 10 reps with that. All right, so last two sets, throwing a plate on. I'm shooting for about 10 reps. We'll see how that goes. Very last exercise is going to be chest flies. Four sets, two at the top, two at the bottom. Really stretching open that chest, contracting, squeezing, bring it in, so 20 reps. Really working that blood in there. Also guys, make sure you're staying hydrated with the finest ASRV blender ball. Amazing. Keeps your drink cold all workout. <laughs> so overall, that was a pretty good chest workout, guys. I got David, homie, over here on the camera filming. Yes. <laughs> but we hit all aspects of the chest. Incline for the upper, flat for the main, the whole portion of the chest. Dips for a little decline to get that bottom of the chest here. It was a good workout all around. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Save it for a rainy day. As always, thank you guys for the support. Stay up out there. Love you guys. Keep it on the low, you know that's the call.